Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are here at Creative Kitchen and Bath with Miss Allison Davis, chef extraordinaire, and you are going to be working every time she says that. <laughs> I know you love it. Um, <coughs> what are we going to be working on today? Um, I see meat, beef. I see yeah. nice vegetables. This is really a full meal, all in one, uh, kind of wrapped up. This would yeah. be a great lunch on the go. Yeah. Um, that you could make ahead of time. I know a lot of people this time of year are talking meal prep. Okay. You know, they're yes, always talking yes. like we're doing meal prep day and. And this is a good one. This is a uh, cabbage roll up with okay. like a marinara sauce Ooh, over it. Yum. So, this is a full on dinner with vegetables and meat and carbs and sauce and the whole nine yum. yards. So, we're going to uh, create our own cabbage roll ups. All right. So, what I did, yes, I had some ground beef that we were uh, searing off. And now we're mm -hmm. just going to add um, a combination of vegetables. And that could be really anything that you have lying around or what you like. But I love mushrooms, um, they just add to me even more meat. Flavor. I've mm -hmm. got some chopped uh, zucchini and yellow squash. Um, we've got a little bit of chopped garlic. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, and then uh, some bell peppers, right? So we're just going to add all of this in, and this is going to be our filling for our cabbage roll up. Okay. okay? As I throw it all across the <laughs> counter. <laughs> um, I've got a little bit of fresh parsley going in, and then I also have some Italian seasoning. Okay. And so that's just a great all-purpose dried seasoning that's going to add some flavor um, that most everyone has in their mm -hmm. pantry. That's a really common one. So we're just going to keep kind of working that in, okay. um, if you would. Yep. And then what I've got going on over here is I just took a head of cabbage and it's just in some nice hot water and basically we're just kind of um, trying to soften up our cabbage leaves yeah. so that we can get uh, these nice like roll ups. So I'm just taking them off kind of one layer at a time. Um, and just letting that cook. So that's what we're going to be putting our filling in, and we're going to be rolling gotcha. up our cabbage leaves. I went ahead, I did make, um, kind of pre-made some marinara sauce. Uh -huh. um, there's a lot of good brands out there if you're even trying to look for ways to, you know, just cut down your cook uh, time. Yes. Um, the one that I recently stumbled across was, I think, Newman's product, um, yeah. but the Common Good. Uh -huh. uh, that Common Good marinara sauce had um, no artificial, no sugar added, yes. um, and every organic uh, ingredient in the in the. Jar, I've had so it. I really I've, liked it. I've had and that before. I think they contribute a certain percentage of their proceeds they of every jar that's purchased mm -hmm. uh, to a charity or to mm -hmm. uh, maybe the No Kid Hungry. Um, so that is just a great product. Yes, it is. And it tastes really good, too. I've had yeah. it before. It's wonderful. So um, don't forget to make sure we're going to season up this mixture with a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh -huh. uh, I get the question a lot of times, what kind of salt do you use? Uh -huh. um, and I just use kosher salt um, over the, definitely over the table salt. Yeah. Um, if you have the pink Himalayan salt, that's my favorite. That's oh, really? definitely got the most benefits to you. Well, I started using the kosher salt when I saw that you were using it all the time. So mm -hmm. I got that in my cupboard. Yeah, Always if you get rid of that table salt and you start moving over to some better salts um, and you go back, you can really taste the difference uh -huh. because the it's table true. salt has the iodine, it has that chemical uh -huh. bleach um, compound and yeah, it really makes a difference mm -hmm. to your palate. Yeah, so. I think it's more flavorful when you're using it with the food and yeah, everything. Yeah, absolutely. Tastes, tastes I'm going to get right in here and grab um, a spoon and we're going to... Um, take out some of this filling and make us up a roll up. All right. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right. So I think this is pretty big that I can even take two of these here. And so, you know, you're going to take a bit of your filling right in the center. Mm -hmm. Now, Ooh, that's good. you can choose to add cheese or not. In this case, I say add cheese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a so yes a little bit of, of cheese in there, and that's going to help even kind of so help, like, good. hold it together. And then, really, you're doing kind of a burrito method, right? Okay. So, um, I'm trying to see which way would work A best. big, meaty burrito. <laughs> right? Wrapped in cabbage. And so, I might have put a little too much filling in here, but we'll just roll that up. Yeah. And Look then at that. there you go. So you can kind of start preparing these ahead of time, have them for the week. Yeah. And then um, we can go with a bit of our, grab this here, marinara over the top. And voila. 
I'm telling you, Beautiful. it is such a good little meal. And a little more cheese, um, and we're good yeah. to go. Yeah, I mean, have it. And, and another thing that you could actually put in your filling would be rice. Yeah. If you wanted to really bulk that up. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com, and we will be right back right after this short break. Today's cooking segment was brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style.